was trying to be your friend at the same time. That's what my dad always tells me when ever like we're just sitting around with my child. I remember the first time he said it, he was like, just he like stared at us for a second. I was like, what is he doing? And like then out of nowhere, he's like, you know, it's almost as if God was trying to be your friend at the same time, because like obviously I'm a teen mom, you all know that. And I had her at 14, and like obviously it was like a huge mistake. Um, but I guess nowadays I wouldn't take it back for the world. And well, I'm gonna tell the story about why I like I had her a few weeks earlier, like just like two weeks before I should have had her. And well, the story behind that is when I had to start going in for my weekly checkups, my doctor, um, we asked her like, what can we do to get my swelling to go down? Cause like my feet and my face and like my whole body was like swollen. And um, it was getting pretty bad. So like she poked around on me for a while and then like, she was like, yeah, there's nothing that we can do, but you will have to go to a hospital because I had preeclampsia and that's like this, I don't know what to call it exactly, but it's when like you don't, have, you don't carry enough, like I think it's called iron or something like that for yourself and the baby. And if I had like gone home in like probably another week or two, I would have started like going into seizures and killed myself and my baby so I went in on a Friday to the Mercy Hospital in Cedar Rapids and well later that night after they like hooked me up to a bunch of stuff and they like did a bunch of tests they were like we're gonna ask your doctor if you can go home and blah 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 and I was like all right dad what does that mean and he's like yeah you're not going anywhere so I was like oh sweet okay and then the next day Saturday they finally like hooked me up to a bunch of IVs and stuff to try and induce me and it didn't work so later last Saturday night my doctor had to come in and like she had to like break my water and like that really hurt and <laughs> like it's really painful that's probably about the only thing that I felt and maybe like one or two contractions but then, like right after she broke my water, I had the epidural put in, and um, I was really scared then too. I wouldn't have been freaking out if the guy that was giving me the epidural hadn't have told me that if I move at all, it will go into like, the needle will go into my spine and I will be paralyzed for the rest of my life. And that's when I started freaking out and shaking and crying. I didn't know what to do like what if I like move because the needle hurts like that was probably like the scariest part it's really scary and then um, about 11 p.m. it like I got woken up because I was on a lot of like drugs because it was bad and all I wanted to do was just sleep and sleep and sleep and they woke me up around 11 they're like yeah you're gonna have this baby right now and then I guess like, I puked, I remember that. That's one thing I really remember. And I guess when I was supposed to be like pushing, I kept trying to fall back asleep. Like it was bad. I was like on a lot of drugs and I kept trying to fall asleep. And I guess I like was like, mom, I get to eat after this. <laughs> and I was really out of it and it was crazy. And like most moms like are really happy and like cry when they hold their baby for the first time. Well, I was just like, oh, she's here. <laughs> like, I, because I was really like, I don't know, it was crazy. And then I had to stay for three more days after that. I didn't get out of there till Tuesday on June, like 13th, I think it was. No, 12th or something. Because she ended up having, um, I forget what it's called, but it's where like she, there's like a baby's skin gets yellow. Jaundice? Yes, she mm -hmm. had jaundice and they have to sit under this light forever. So I had to stay there forever. It was pretty crazy. I don't know how, no, it's, I'm just 
you don't want to go through that. So like what I'm saying is like be careful. Like think before your action because it can put you through like danger and stuff. Like because I was on like the verge of killing myself and my child if I hadn't have gone in for a checkup. And yeah, I'm just saying think before like you do.